I hate the way this nigga Kevin Johnson fights. I fucking hate the way this nigga Kevin Johnson fights. Like, this nigga's so negative. This nigga has no ambition. Like, it's just like, as I'm watching this fight, talk about like a human piñata. Talk about a human uh, fucking punching bag. Like, this guy didn't do nothing. I think he threw five fucking punches the entire fucking fight. Like, as soon as the fight starts, the, the fucking nigga goes to the fucking ropes. Daniel DeBaz is coming forward, you know, being the aggressor. And what does Kevin Johnson do? He just stays against the ropes the whole fucking fight. He just stays against the ropes, slipping punches. Like, I really hope that one day Kevin Johnson fights a, a dude and this guy just knocks him the fuck out and knocks him into retirement. Because, like, this guy's so... It, I hate fighters who fight like that. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I hate it when a fighter fights with absolutely no ambition. Like, this guy showed no ambition in this fight. Why? It should be illegal. Like, there should be a rule in boxing that says if you are a professional, if you're a professional fighter, and if you don't try to win a single round in a fight, you should be, it should be illegal for you to fight. That should be the rule. Like, that literally should be a rule of boxing. If you have no ambition... To win a single round in a professional boxing match, you should not be allowed to fight a fucking fighter because you're getting paid to fight. You're not getting paid to do nothing. And Kevin Johnson does nothing. Now, Daniel Dubais, or Dubais, he didn't knock out Kevin Johnson as I suspected. But this was a one-sided uh, fight. He won every single round. It was easy work. Uh, uh, one thing I like about this fight for Daniel DeBaz is the fact that he is now has rounds under his belt. You know, I, I know what's going to happen. People are going to compare Daniel DeBaz's uh, performance against Kevin Johnson and Anthony Joshua's performance against Kevin Johnson. Because, of course, Kevin Johnson got knocked out in two rounds against AJ, right? But we have to keep one thing in, mi one thing in mind. Uh, Anthony Joshua was much older than Kevin uh Daniel DeBaz. He was about 25 when he fought Kevin Johnson. Daniel DeBaz is a 21 year old, right? So we have to keep that into consideration. We also have to keep into, into consideration the fact that Anthony Joshua was an Olympian, right? He's a gold medalist, right? He had way m more amateur experience than somebody like uh, Daniel DeBaz. So we have to keep those things in mind. We also have to keep in mind that Kevin Johnson is a guy that is really difficult to knock the fuck out. Vitaly Klitschko in his prime couldn't knock out Kevin Johnson, right? Tyson Fury couldn't knock out Kevin Johnson. Um, what's his name? In his last fight, a Andy Ruiz couldn't knock out Kevin Johnson. Kurat Pulev couldn't knock out Kevin Johnson. These guys have fought in a much higher level than somebody like Danny DeBoz. They couldn't knock out Kevin Johnson. And these guys had way more fights than somebody like Danny DeBoz. These guys had way more experience. You know, Vitaly Klitschko was a freaking reigning champion so and they, they were much older than Dubai's they have way more experience so I don't think we should be too harsh on you know I, at least I'm not going to be too harsh on Dubai's performance because of the fact that other fighters like let's say Kevin Johnson was known for being a guy who got knocked out in every single round and let's say no let's say that Kevin Johnson had been knocked out 10 times and then let's say you know Daniel Dubai's had gone the distance against Kevin Johnson right I would be Criticizing Kevin Johnson. I mean, uh, Daniel DeBaz. I'll be saying, why the fuck couldn't he knock out Kevin Johnson? This guy's been knocked out 10 times. But, like I said, this guy has a history of going the distance with elite heavyweight. So, I'm not going to be too harsh on Daniel DeBaz. Uh, one thing I learned in this fight is Daniel DeBaz, um, he has the energy to go 10 rounds. Because he's been knocking out fighters. This is the first time he's gone the distance. It happened to be against Kevin Johnson. Mike Tyson... The first time he went the distance was against, uh, I believe, a guy named, what's his name? Quick Tillis. James Quick Tillis at the, I don't know, something, something Tillis. Tillis was a bum. So, we have to keep this in mind, you know. Not every, there comes a time in every heavyweight where they fight a dude and they go the distance. Kevin Johnson is a survivalist. I said this. I said he has no ambition. I said he's just a guy who goes for a paycheck. He proved me right because he came here for a paycheck. Didn't show any heart, no ambition. Like I said, though, it's... I'm not going to be too harsh on, on Daniel DeBosch just because he's a 21-year-old. 
And just because he's fought a guy who's a survivalist, this guy never gave Daniel DeBoss the chance to knock him out. I'm telling you right now, had Kevin Johnson actually been aggressive, had he been actually sh trying to fight with ambition and actually let his hands go, I'm telling you right now, Kevin Johnson would have left himself open to being knocked the fuck out against somebody like Daniel DeBoss. And he probably would have not gotten knocked out, but because he's a survivalist, and because all he like he was all he was focused on was trying to go the distance, it made it difficult for Kevin Johnson. I mean, for uh, Daniel DeBoss to uh, get rid of Mister, uh, you know, fucking boring ass, lame ass, dull ass Kevin Johnson. Again, I think this this is a good experience for someone like uh, Daniel DeBoss. Now he's been in there with a veteran. And again, you have to keep in mind he's uh, Kevin Johnson's a veteran. He has these tricks. He knows us how to survive. At least now, Daniel DeBoss has experienced. He's been 10 rounds. Um, again, the, I think the crowd wanted and they were expecting DeBoss uh, to get rid of Kevin Johnson. But again, Kevin Johnson is a survivalist. This is a guy that he has no ambition. He just goes to receive a paycheck. So, again, this was a one-sided, uh, easy fight. And uh, I, I hope that somebody either retire. I, I hope Kevin Johnson either retires or... Or I hope in his next fight, like, he gets caught with a brutal uppercut or a brutal shot that just puts him into retirement. Because, like, I can't... I, I'm, I'm never going to watch this man fight. I will never watch Kevin Johnson fight again. He has no ambition. He sucks. He fucking sucks. He's, he, he's lame. He's dull. He has no ambition. If you shouldn't be allowed to fight in a professional boxing ring if you have no fucking ambition. When it comes to... Uh, Daniel DeBoz, uh he was pacing himself at times. I think you know in the very first in the, in the first three rounds he was like very aggressive. I think Daniel DeBoz was trying to make a statement. He was coming out very aggressive, going all up in uh, Kevin Johnson's face. That's what he's supposed to do, you know. But then what happened? He started gassing out. I think he started gassing himself out a bit. He was exhausting himself because he was letting his hands go a lot. So I think that slowed him down. And he started. You could see him fatiguing, especially in the second half of the fight. And then uh, I liked how when he got in close, he would throw these little uppercuts. I felt that he should have gone more to the body. And I also felt he should have thrown more uppercuts. Because every time he threw uppercuts, like the, those uppercuts on the inside, he was rocking Kevin Johnson's head back. Uh, but man, Kevin Johnson, he... Kevin Johnson made this fight suck for me. Because he's, he's, he's just... He fights so negative. Like, it's horrible. It's, Kevin Johnson is the worst fighter ever. Like, I, God, I hate his style. I hate watching Kevin Johnson's style. Anyway, guys, what I have to say? Subscribe for Ladies in Boxing. I'm out.